Our first round opponent is Dr. Pringles, who is a fellow team member. And Dr. Pringles is still playing Talir combo. And I'm playing uh, FTP moment. The nice thing about this is that this probably it won't this won't go off as hard now that they've made the changes. So this I need to toss back. Cause we don't have double primal to play any of our stuff. I might toss this back too. Not sure. It sucks that we specifically need to find Primal if I do that and then still find time. Um, how many looks do I get? I get one draw, then another draw. Now I get to scout. One draw, scout, draw, and then draw two. So I have to find Primal in the first five cards, or six cards. I guess it's possible. Yeah. There it is. So, Torch is kinda useful. It doesn't kill his three drops though, that's the thing. So maybe I don't want it. Oh, if Pringles plays Initiate though, then I'd wanna... I'll, I'll keep the Torch. I think it's useful enough. Okay. So we'll strategize now, and I'm willing to bottom moment. For the time being. Since I run resurface, I can, uh, if I draw a resurface, I can get the moment back up. And I have a moment in the market, too. Alright, that's cool. I want to save this fire. Um, purifies good in this matchup, but we haven't equivocate already. Is he running mask? He's not. He's running means to an end, which is interesting. I don't have any life gain in this deck either, so I don't think we get means yet. I think we just get Wasp for now. And then probably willing to give up the Torch. Since now we're kind of going into the mid game and like his bigger units aren't going to have. Um, they're going to have more than three health. I could just give up Hailstorm if that's the case. Yeah, let's give up Hailstorm. And I'll, I'll take Wasp here. That's fine. And we keep this for heart. He only has one Varus favor. So. I mean, the deck's still all about, like, playing units and power in as few spells as possible. Like most of the spells are recursion or devour. This will do the trick. There's no like actual removal spells in the deck like annihilate, banish, etc. All right, he got. <laughs> Wonder why he got that one. It's interesting. Mm, 
do I do it? I probably do just because they have nothing on six to play. It'd just be like a four drop plus something or a three three. There's no five drops in the deck either. So I think we, we just slam Titan and threaten him. We can't heart yet because we just now found our second time source. So next turn is probably going to be... Um, I don't have a reason to hold up Wasp. So it's probably going to be Torch Wisdom, honestly. Alright, so now we need to find the Disjunction, which there it is. Hmm, interesting. And I can grab it now and just give up Torch. I think I do. He does have excavate. Find solace in the darkness. Should slow him down a turn. Okay. That's a creeper. So I think he has Talir in hand. If he's going for this Trailmaker play. There's nothing in this deck that flies, so I think we just put pressure on him a bit. We just make him give up a couple units. Am I drawing first, though? I think we need to hold up Equivocate. So we have six power to work with. Wisdom for three, and then I can't play Sandworm anymore. Um... Maybe I'm, if I'm not drawing, then I'm playing Sandworm for sure. So he won't give this up. I'll do the draw route. And then we'll strategize and look for a Hailstorm, I believe. We can't get it out of here. We can get Purify, which is nice. Um, okay, so let's bottom a Strategize, or even maybe even bottom Petition. No, let's bottom a Strategize. And then I'll a Rallying Merchant for a, a Purify. Just say go. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't have power, undepleted power into Talir. That's kind of the hope here. Time quickens. Okay.
think that's fine. I'll play this in case Talir doesn't come down. Let's bounce that back. And then I suppose we just slam it again, right? Swing for 12, he'll probably... Uh... I think we're gonna go Sandworm, hold up Equivocate again. this turn I don't think I do um, stun both I can swing and force him to block one I still don't have lethal no matter what so I think we just let these guys go just kind of be patient Hmm, well. I think we still hold this equivocate. Interesting. Very, very good. Excellent. We can go, uh... If I warp this, kill this, he has four left. One, two, three, four. I have five attackers. I can get rid of three things. And it's 12 exactly. Yeah. And Pringles is tapped out. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh... On this, bounce this, and we get in there. And 17 damage. Not a lot going on. I mean, uh, they would initiate. They're kind of just setting up their turns. My problem with this hand is like Equivocate and Permafrost. Like Equivocate's really good, but I don't want it till late game. And then Permafrost is kind of, I'm just stunning. I stun Nocturnal Creeper, of which Pringles only has two. So I think I'm redrawing this. It has a crest. There's just not a lot going on. That's the problem. Eh, I'll keep it. The hand is reasonable, so.
Okay, well... I wish I waited on the crest. I did it, like, because it's a tournament and I know what their Pringles is playing. So I felt there was less reason to hold the crest. Normally, you, you do hold the crest, though. Um, we'll grab Primal and Time. And I think we're just giving up our next draw. Yeah. Alright, what do we want here? We probably just want Purify for now. I don't think we want Disjunction for the means. Not yet anyway. Yeah, I'll take Purify for now. Develop the Titan next turn, and then turn 5 will just kind of be Purify, Equivocate, Permafrost, etc. That's fine. fine. Okay. Okay, so we purify. The question is, am I I'm probably gonna strategize too. So I should strategize first. Though I don't really want to give up this power. But I think it's still better to strategize. Okay. So he has Devour in hand. Um, he probably is going to do it now then. If that's the case. I'll, I'll put the time on the bottom. That's fine. Yeah, he'll probably Devour now to get some draw which that's fine all right he found a behemoth i'll go ahead and swing and i'm actually gonna grab fire because it's a bit harder to make than time for this deck i have more time sources than anything i believe <laughs> Okay. So now what do we get? Behemoth is a 6 6, which I, we can stun. We have Permafrost for that. So that's fine. Um, it'd be nice to. God. Could grab a moment. I have interaction. It's not like I don't. I think we grab moment. I, I could grab disjunction, but I don't know. I don't think I I don't think I do. Like I don't think he has means to an end in hand. Let's grab a moment. Hmm. So I'm thinking like I can attack and then equivocate to try and blow Pringles out. The problem with that is um, Pringles have to make a bad block and I don't think Pringles is going to make a bad block. <laughs> and I don't want to waste equivocate on one of these guys though I do have two
I'll do it, I guess. Okay. He also could have made, done that. So either Behemoth comes down. Okay, it's not coming down. It's not coming down at all. He likes what he saw. All right, let's draw some cards. Wow, that's actually insane. Is this a board clear? It's actually a board clear, I think. So everything goes to one. I kill this, I kill this. It's not, it's not a board clear. Am I willing to give up Titan? I believe I am with another Titan moment and heart coming up. I think that's fine. Yeah. Still no means in hand. Hasn't drawn it yet either. Ah, this is probably going to be for Talir. We'll just save save it for that. Um, I'm wondering now if I should... Um, I don't think I can play Moment yet. If you got Talir, then I need to wait. Yeah, we need to wait. I can't, uh... We just need to slam Titan for now. Wait for Talir to come down. I think Pringles has to, like, in order to go off, like, it has to be, like, a... A Talir plus, um... Alright, I think we take the risk here. And just play the moment. He has a random 8 drop in hand. Really? I mean, we don't have to. I mean, we can just chill and just keep holding up Equivocate. Um, nah, let's go. He has to rip, he has to rip to off the top. He did, damn. That sucks. Okay. So I was supposed to hold, this is why you hold Equivocate. He's gonna get Vodacan and go insane. What does this get? Mask? Is either Mask, Vars Choice, or Excavate? Yeah, I need to be more patient. Like, I didn't have to play this moment now. I mean, you could argue there was a low chance that he would, um... It's written right here. That he would actually top deck the other Talir. But I still should have just done it. Just play around it. 
but that's why I went for the moment because he had to mark it for the first Talir. So I figured, well, he doesn't have an, he doesn't have the other Talir in hand if he had to mark it for the first one. So the only thing I would lose to is a top deck Talir. So either Pringles top deck actually did top deck it, or there was he had Talir in his hand. Oof, that's really bad. So now we have to equivocate uh, Vodakan. No, oh, why you're doing this? You can't discard. Oh, it's just a search for power, and then what? Play it. He's doing dark. He's doing this to literally just draw. Okay. So another line is to, um, there is another line actually. I could stun Vodakan, bounce one of the Talirs back to, to their hand, and then try and bait Pringles to attack with his other Talir, or I could just equivocate the Vodakan and be done with it. I think either way strategizes the first play. Yeah. Now I know for next time. Just always hold up a equivocate. Doesn't matter. Just always hold it up. I could have been a lot more patient with this moment. All that to clear the board, huh? Now I'm getting this junction. So that's cool, I guess. Probably give a petition for that. This is really unfortunate. How many equivocates have I used? I think three. No, two. So I can't, uh, I can bounce these, but they won't matter. Okay, I understand exactly how Talir combo works now. Right means means to an end like actually is a win condition. They plan they plan to deck themselves and then do like twenty five damage. So we'll probably lose the means. What's gonna happen is like I'll get rid of this means and then uh, Pringles will play the other means and then draw through the rest of his deck. He'll just. Yeah, so now he's going to do 25 to me, and I'm dead. Yeah, that's how it wins now. Okay. So I still can't beat this deck in the late game. Like, it still has a better late game than me. But 
Now I know Equivocate's the most important card in the entire matchup, along with Purify out of the out of the market. So let me see. One of my most important market cards. Probably not Wasp, because that kind of just dirtles and the win conditions like actually just means. If there's a board stall. So it's probably Purify is the first thing I get, and then Disjunction, possibly, or Wasp, depending on what's going on. I don't think I grab Moment. I think I have too many big threats that I can win with to where I, I don't have to get Moment. I mean, the Moment there was fine. It was fine. It's just, um... We're probably going to get the bug. Oh, we did. How much time do we have left? Only, only 15 minutes. Which is not a lot of time. And this has a rally merchant. I might legit just grab it. The problem is, like, I can't wisdom with this hand. I can merchant, but I can't wisdom. I think I toss this back. Even though I can grab a purify off of it. Yeah. Let's redraw. This has equivocate. Has a crest, has some search. Okay. I don't really want to go to six. At least I know what my mistake was game one. Um, Alright, let's grab the second primal now. And then next turn, I think I get fire. No, I probably get time. time I'll probably grab time. Let's just slow him down for now. Yeah, we get time here. Not even going to strategize yet. I'll just wait. There's nothing I want to discard yet. Next turn, I probably have to strategize no matter what. Child. Might be light on power. Possibly. This hailstorm is not very good. Um, I think I'm willing to just bottom moment straight up. Let's hope I draw it again later. Hmm. Oh, strategize again. Permafrost, possibly? Yeah. Don't think I want to give up power either. I mean, this is a block, right? Like... We're getting fire with this. Definitely. Nope, I'll play the other Titan too. I need to since, uh, there's not gonna be enough, uh... Maybe he plays Duskwalker here? He doesn't. Okay, so 
he would go this is going to depend on if he blocks with this we know he has to leer all right we're, we're holding up equivocate so i'll strategize I'll bottom the other strategize actually. Yeah. Actually, no, he lost power. That's right. Forgot about that. Okay. So, what do we do here? I think we can get Purify. The problem is uh, we can't cast it. That's the problem. Because we need to save Equivocate for Talir. So he's not going to block with these. He needs both of these. Yeah, that's the block. So we'll go, um, we'll give up Seek Power and grab Purify. And we just need to hold up Equivocate for literally the rest of the game. That's all we're doing. <laughs> so. I think Pringles knows I have it. Bounce that back. There. Got the first one. Okay. What's wisdom actually? Permafrost actually would have been good here. Hmm. Five mana to work with. I need to decide if I'm gonna worm calling now or worm calling next turn. I kind of have what I need. I almost want to purify this thing, but maybe I should just wait. Let's bounce this. I don't think he has enough power to actually like Yeah, this merchant. What are we grabbing though? That's the question. Mask. Interesting. Not playing that. We're gonna swing for 10. All 
and then play a worm. He still wants to keep these alive. Okay. Back you go. Gotta be very, very patient. I think we we win the game. Yeah, we win the game. We purify this, and then we can like. I mean, I'll probably. Yeah, he's tapped out actually. There we go, boys. Round one, ECL Thursday in the books. One and oh, three more rounds to go. For the folks that are going to see this on YouTube, I will catch you guys in a bit.